Hello everyone and welcome back to Mr. Anderson's Algebra 1 Lessons. Today we're going to be talking about factoring basics. And I have two examples for us today that are going to be dealing with factoring out the common factor and finding the simplest form of the given term expression that they want you to factor. For example one here, we have a four term polynomial and they want us to factor out the common factor. And so the main idea is to make sure you're identifying a common factor with each piece. Most of the time people can see that they all have an x term in common. And so you would factor out the x term. Now what you should be factoring out is the most x terms that you can. And in this case, it is x squared. So you're going to bring down your x squared here. Okay? Now, if you look at all the numbers, there is a specific term that they all share, and that is the number 9. So you can bring out the number 9. And final, I would say you could even take out a negative term because we do not like seeing negatives in the parentheses. So negative 9x squared is what all of these things have in common. Now we need to write the rest of the expression and that's how you use your parentheses. You need to put inside these parentheses here each term that 9x squared multiplies with to give you that back. So negative 9x squared times 7x cubed gives you negative 63x to the fifth. Negative 9x squared minus 5x squared gives you 45x to the fourth. Negative 9x squared times uh, 3 x gives you negative 27x squared and negative 9x squared times uh, three, negative 3 gives you that 27x squared. So this right here is your, your final expression for factoring out the cost. That's what you... Alright, the second is a little more um, involved in what we're looking at here first is we need to look for the common factor in each term and then you need to factor out the trinomial so let's see what we got I see a 6 here I see a 60 and a 144 and so what I'm thinking of is first number I pops in my head is 12 12 goes into 144 12 goes into 60 but 12 does not go into 6 but I do know 6 goes into itself, 6 goes into 60, and 6 goes into 12, which 12 goes into 144. And so we would be able to factor out the 6 of each of those terms. So we bring the 6 outside, and you have n squared minus 10n plus um, 24 inside and so most people would say they're done but inside can be factored I believe inside can be factored we need to find the two numbers that multiply to positive 24 but add to negative 10 and so that's tricky because when you factor this the signs are both going to be negative and we have our n here. So n times n, that n squared. And we're just looking for the two numbers here that multiply to 24, but they add to negative 10. And that would be the numbers 4 and the number 6. Negative 4 of 6 is positive 24. Negative 4 plus negative 6 is negative 10. And an easy way to check to see if we are right in this circumstance is if we factored correctly would be to multiply it all through again. You, n times n is n squared. n times negative 6 is negative 6n. 
negative 4 times n is negative 4n, and negative 4 times negative 6 is positive 24. Don't forget your 6 outside, then you have this left over, and if you can notice, it's starting to shape back up to what we got before. Just distribute the 6 through, and this is what you get. So it checks out. So again, thank you for watching this video on factoring basics. Um, this has been a tutorial on for you to remember how to factor out the common factor and then to factor a basic trinomial. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.